to France now, where pressure has been growing on the Catholic Church since a devastating report on sexual abuse published last month. Catholic bishops are meeting today for the first time since the report's findings came to light, with calls on all sides to take action. The report revealed that some 216,000 minors have been sexually abused by members of the clergy in France since the 1950s. Our Paris correspondent, Lisa Louis, spoke to one of the victims who founded the organization leading the fight for justice. As a small boy, François Deveau used to be full of joy. Until the age of 10, when he was sexually molested by a local priest. After this, I completely failed at school. I fell out with my parents. At the age of 14, I tried to commit suicide. I was expelled from all the schools I went to. Life became hell. When something like this happens to you at the age of 10, it destroys you. All your life, you'll go from trauma to trauma. Any relationship will be difficult. With your friends, family or partner. His parents immediately took him out of the local church. But not until 2015 did De Vaux decide to take the priest to court. He filed a joint suit with several others of the priest's roughly 70 victims. They also pressed charges against his superior, a cardinal. Sexual predators exist everywhere. But the difference is that the church knew about the priest's preferences and had him oversee children's groups for decades. They were covering things up. They tried to prevent the truth from coming to light at all costs. The judges found the priest guilty, but decided the cardinal was not responsible for denouncing him. The case nevertheless triggered such a backlash that an independent panel was asked to investigate child abuse at France's Catholic Church. Church authorities have now promised to make amends in the light of the panel's devastating report released early October. We weren't expecting such a dreadful result, that 216,000 minors had been abused by clerics. But as that's reality, we'll have to face it and take action to implement what's being asked of us. Suggested reforms include watering down the celibacy vows and waiving confessional privilege in certain cases. But De Vaux doesn't trust the church to implement the necessary changes by itself. We will launch a civil class action against French bishops to increase the pressure and hold them accountable for not preventing these things from happening. Such a proceeding will certainly encourage other victims abroad to follow suit. Eventually, we can all join forces and find a way to hold the Vatican accountable. He knows that this fight is likely to take decades, but De Vaux, who never believed in God, feels the Catholic Church has remained unchallenged for too long and is determined to make this global institution finally accept responsibility for its clergy's actions. We can speak now to Martin Gack, our religious affairs correspondent. Martin, welcome to the show. We mentioned that French bishops are meeting this week and they are under a lot of pressure. Tell us more about what the church's response has been. Well, tepid. I mean, um, at best, of course, there were great expressions of contrition and, you know, uh, requests of forgiveness and, and such uh, such thing that has been pretty much a staple of the church reactions to now the innumerable um, scandals of sexual abuse of children over the last decade and, and, and a half almost. Um, Perhaps the fact remains that this is, uh, you know, comes probably shocking, but it's really not a surprise if those two things may be said together, because it really is just one more of a very, very long set of episodes. I think that 
the position uh, at this stage is by by most of the groups of, of victims and people sort of trying to put pressure in, on the church is that in fact there is no clear path forward other than essentially uh, you know opening the church to uh, more legal transparency in the context of the state. So in other words, the church is clearly not capable of policing itself. What about compensation in this case? I mean, can the victims expect anything? In some cases, perhaps, but in many cases, no, because uh, many of this 216,000, which as a matter of fact, could go as high as 300,000 when one counts uh, non-clergy church-associated people that might have committed crimes, uh, many of these cases have actually exceeded the statute of limitation, so they can no longer be prosecuted. Um, the fact is that, you know, the position uh, of the church really uh, can only be challenged by the state. Uh, and I think that a lot of what you are seeing as a discussion as to what should be the place of the French state in this particular case, with its very uh, sort of long and, and, and sturdy tradition of, of laicite, of secularism, in dealing with, uh, with what is clearly a, very, a, a big power, a big political power. Martin, we spoke earlier to, to Keith Wood from the UK's National Secular Society. And I want to play you a clip of what he had to say about the French government's role. There hasn't been one prosecution of, 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 uh, of a bishop that's, rent, that's resulted in jail or any, any fine. Uh, and very, very few uh, cases have succeeded against the, the, the clerics, despite there being over 200,000 examples since 1950. The church appears to be above the law in France, which is dreadful for a secular state. Martin, that's a pretty damning assessment. The church appears to be above the law in France. Is that fair? Well, I think not only it is fair, it is actually was more or less confirmed by uh, the president of the Bishop Conference, the Bishop of Rheims, uh, um, Moulin uh, Beaufort, who said that, you know, uh, uh, essentially confessional secrecy the secrecy that somebody expects, in this case a clergy member expects, when they go to confession, they say that they have in fact committed a crime, a sexual crime against children, trumps the law of France. The law in France, of France in this matter is very, very clear. Anybody with information about <clears throat> the commission of a sexual crime against children uh, is liable to fine or jail if they do not actually bring those cases to authority. What is interesting about this particular case is that what uh, you know, what we have in front is the very, very clear possibility that, in fact, many people in the in the in the confessional booths knew that these things were going on precisely because we have a massive amount of cases and that they never actually turned down, turned that to the French state. If that is the case uh, and there are well positioned lawyers to push push the French state to go against the church as an organization, the French state would have actually the tools to essentially go against the church and bring up charges for, uh, for absconding or hiding, uh, you know, crimes, sexual crimes against children. We'll have to leave it there. Our religious affairs correspondent, Martin Gack, good to talk to you.